The first thing to understand before converting files from previous versions is that there's a difference between versions and file formats. The best way to contrast the two is to note that there have been over 20 versions of FileMaker, but in that same time period, just five file formats. File formats can be easily identified by simply looking at the extension of the file that you're trying to open. The extension are all of the letters that come after the dot in a file name. For example, this file has a .fp7 extension, so we know that its file format is .fp7. And once you know your file format, you'll be able to determine the strategy for conversion. If your file format is .fmp12, the files do not need to be converted and will open automatically in FileMaker Pro version 12 or later, and can then be hosted in the current version of FileMaker Server. If your file format is .fp7, you can use FileMaker Pro version 12 or later to perform a one-time conversion of the file, which will create a new .fmp12 file that you can then use in the current version of FileMaker. For example, we have this .fp7 file on the desktop, and we can simply drag and drop this file on top of the FileMaker application icon of the most current version of FileMaker Pro, and it will automatically initiate the conversion process. FileMaker will now guide through the conversion process by first asking us if we want to save a copy of the original file before we convert it. If you want to save a copy of the original, you'll select the box that says Rename Old File As and give it a new name. Or you could just choose to go with the default renaming, which puts the word old at the end of your original file name. And in this case, we will select the box to rename the file. And this is necessary because we actually are going to be transforming the existing file into a new file in the current format. So if you want to retain your original, this gives you the opportunity to do so. The old file will be saved in the same location where the original is located. We'll hit OK. And then next, we choose the location of the new converted file. And after a very quick conversion process, you'll see the converted file open in the current version of FileMaker. You'll also notice that in the original file location, we have the old file now appended with its new name. We also have a conversion log. A conversion log can be opened up inside the console, and you can search it looking for different errors that may have occurred during conversion. Or you can take that conversion log file, drag it on top of the FileMaker application icon, and turn it into a FileMaker file. Here we'll save it to the desktop, and we'll choose the drop down on the left here, Use as Field Names, and simply hit the Convert button. Once the file's been converted, you can search in the error column for any value greater than zero. And if you get no records matching that criteria, that means no errors were encountered during the conversion. You will also see that a new file was created. And this is the file that we see currently open in the current version of FileMaker. And since it has the .fmp12 extension, it is in the current file format and can be opened in FileMaker Pro and also hosted on the current version of FileMaker Server. If you have file formats that are earlier than .fp7, you can still convert those files into a .fmp12 file. And if you are planning to convert files that are from prior to file format .fp7, please consult the Claris knowledge base for more information. Claris FileMaker solutions from any file format can be converted and made compatible with the current version of FileMaker Pro with very little to no degradation. Once converted, the solution will only be available in the current file format, which is why you might want to save your originals. Before you convert your files, please consult the Claris knowledge base for more details on the changes that may occur in your files during the conversion process. <laughs>